I'm Brad Rathje, the manager of Aquatech USA. It's a division of the Van Wall Group. We are responsible for distributing and supporting Aquatech probes for, for North America. It's typically used for irrigation and now in drainage management to optimize the soil moisture levels for the crops out in the field. This is just one of our standard probes. Uh, this is one of our longer ones. It's typically used for nut crops, uh, cotton, and in some situations, deficit irrigation crops like with corn and so forth too. Uh, it's actually, in this situation, it's 48 inches long and it's buried in the soil and measures up to two inches in the surrounding soil. And so what we're able to do is actually understand not only where moisture is reaching from irrigation or rainfall or from a flooding event, but we're also able to track how the crop is using that moisture at six different depths all the way up to 15 different depths. And so we're, we're getting a handle on how that, you know, the, the best way the crop is growing. There's optimal moisture levels for every crop and too much moisture is actually worse than not enough and that's why Iowa does so much tiling. But what we're working at is let's store as much in the field to be utilized by the crop at a later date but still not have a negative impact. Instead of draining everything out and then hoping it rains, let's store it so it can be used later on in the field itself. And th this technology just at each sensor depth we're taking readings every 15 minutes, so we're knowing what the soil temperature is and what the moisture levels are. And that allows us to understand what is the optimal, how the crop is responding the best. And that will change not only with varieties, but also with the stage of growth too. AgriTrend is one of many uh, that, that utilize this platform. We worked with them in developing the interface uh, on the AgriTrend platform, so that, that you know they're a good uh, representative for us here in, in Iowa. But we do work with a number of other companies. Our, our whole goal is to work with companies who want to integrate this, this type of data into their platforms. Typically, it's uh, at an agronomic level. In some situations, it's more at a, at a research standpoint, like for irrigation engineers or, or people like that, too. Well, it's, it's basically ground truthing. We've got the ability to keep tracking 24 hours a day what the soil moisture dynamics are. Typically, what people will use this for, uh, uh, for example, crop consultants, they'll put these out and use that for a benchmark. They'll go out and sample other areas using the hand fill method, but they've got a much higher confidence level because they know what's going on. Uh, in Nebraska, a number of years ago, we were involved in some research with the University of Nebraska, and typically what they showed for the crop consultants that were using this technology they recommended from 10 to 20 percent lower amounts of irrigation, but at the same time their yield increased by 10 percent. So it's a situation that it becomes a, a positive cash flow for uh, the producer because it, typically in irrigation, if they save one or two inches of irrigation, it pays for the technology for the year. And this technology can last many years. Uh, we, we've got a lot of equipment that's eight and ten years old still out in the field. Uh, for example, AquaCheck worldwide, we've got over 30,000 sensors uh, working at this point in time. So it, it's, it's a situation that we're making a bit of a dent in, into uh, the soil moisture technology platform. It's just sensor information. It takes somebody with the agronomic understanding to really make this work for a producer. I, you know, anything else is just numbers, but when people start interpreting that and they understand that, uh, f for example, when it gets, you know, from a water management standpoint, there might be times towards the end of the season that we do want to get all the water out, but as soon as, you know, probably more from a harvest standpoint because you don't want to have compaction, which is a, a serious situation, 
but as soon as that crops out, go ahead and let it recharge, you know, store as much as you can and, uh, during the off season because that's really going to cut down on the nutrient load that's going out through the tile lines. And it can be automated.